This is Ian Cameron for Sportsbook Review with your college basketball play of the day for Tuesday, January 17th. We're going to go to the Ryder Siena Metro Atlantic matchup for today's play of the day. We'll look to bounce back because... God, you talk about being dead wrong. That's what we were with Oakland on Monday. We'll see if we can get back in the win column uh, tonight with this Ryder Siena game. And I mentioned the Siena Saints uh, yesterday. Uh, for those of you that tuned into the college basketball roundtable on Google Hangouts here on Sportsbook Review that I was a part of, that we'll be doing routinely throughout the college basketball season, I implore you to watch that. Uh, it was a lot of fun, great information, great insight, great group of guys, too. They all know what the hell they're talking about. It was a lot of fun. Jeff Nadu, BMOC, just fantastic, uh, entertaining and informative. He is. Uh, he did a great job. Drew Martin, my friend and colleague from SportsMemo.com, that's the site that we're both at. Uh, just a very knowledgeable up-and-coming young handicapper. Uh, Ed Fang, tremendous with the stats, phenomenal insight, great statistical analysis from him. Very, uh, I was very uh, informed uh, uh, listening to what he, his breakdown uh, of college basketball. And, of course, the odds couple, Pete Loshak, Mike Brenner. Uh, Mike uh, always brings the energy, that's for sure. And Pete, who I've done videos with in the past, it was just fantastic, that college basketball roundtable. So tune into that if you haven't already. It was a lot of fun being part of that. But anyway, getting back to this game, um, I mentioned the Siena Saints during that college basketball roundtable discussion as maybe a bet on team moving forward. Why is that? Well, they dismissed what I think could be a little bit of a cancer uh, with this basketball team. Actually, they haven't dismissed him. They've just given him a leave of absence. Uh, we're talking about senior Nico Clareth. It's a guy that really... Is a, is a good player for this team, no question, but the chemistry was not great with him on the court. There have been issues that have taken place with him within the team this year. He violated a, a pro policy within the program earlier this season that resulted in a mini suspension for him. He recently apparently wore some kind of jewelry uh, onto the basketball court, which you're not allowed to do uh, just as a sign of immaturity and not, you know, understanding the rules, the policies that you have to abide by as a college athlete. And it got to the point where Jimmy Patsos, that coach, said, I've had enough. You know, you're not going to play. You're, we're putting you on a leave of absence now for an extended period of time. Had enough of the shenanigans. Had enough of the antics. And Siena never was really playing phenomenal, strong basketball uh, with Nico Claret. They were a very inconsistent basketball team. Uh, there's no denying that. They had gotten off to a rough start in conference play. They had dropped two straight uh, games uh, on the road against Canisius and Niagara. They barely squeaked by St. Peter's, uh, and then they beat Quinnipiac uh, on January 12th. And then that's when the decision was made, you know, Nico Clareth would be given an indefinite leave. Uh, put him on an indefinite leave of absence for, uh, I guess, all the shenanigans and the disruptions that he's causing this team. So I was interested to see, okay, Clareth now has been given this leave of absence. How would this Siena team respond without him? Would they band together as a team, play great, play hard, play as a unit, play as a united team, or would they maybe fall apart a little bit? Well, they answered that question pretty decisively uh, in the first game since that Clareth uh, leave of absence was uh, instituted. Uh, on Sunday when they went on the road at Fairfield uh, and played a really good game, 63-54, to especially on the defensive end of the court. It makes you think that maybe Clareth, uh, without him, they're going to be a better defensive basketball team because they held Fairfield to 54 points. They only shot the ball 23-59 of 59 from the field, a very poor shooting day for Fairfield, good defensive performance by the Siena Saints. And it makes me wonder that maybe with Clareth out of everybody's hair now, this becomes a bet on team, a more focused team, maybe a more together team. Uh, and this is success now that maybe could carry over. And that game at Fairfield, Siena's first point spread cover in five games. That broke a four-game ATS losing streak. Maybe some residual betting value now on this Siena team without a guy that was clearly causing some disruptions, causing some havoc with this team. So I'm interested to see how they fare Siena now back home against Ryder. And I will say this about Ryder. They're trending in the wrong direction. Back-to-back -back losses at Manhattan. A tough, tough loss for them there uh, in a back-and-forth game. And then they lose at home to St. Peter's on Sunday, 71-65 as favorites. 0-2 straight up and against the spread uh, is Ryder. Uh, you look at last year, 
when these two teams met Siena on their home court, easily took care of business, beat Ryder 63-52 to by 11 points. Uh, this is also same-season revenge for Siena tonight. They faced Ryder back in December on Ryder's home floor. Ryder escapes with a 71-69 victory. I think Sienna's going to be looking for some payback. I like the signs that I saw from this team without Nico Clareth. A more, uh, the, almost like they uh, are a closer, uh, more tight-knit basketball team now without him. And I think they're going to play well tonight and get their revenge on Ryder, who beat Sienna earlier this season. I'm willing to lay the points here. This has not been a team very good in laying points, especially at home. But I think they finally break that uh, home favorite losing skid. Don't forget, St. Peter's and Quinnipiac, they won those last two home games, but they did not cover as home favorites, only won by two and by seven. But I think they can win this game by enough of a margin to cash a ticket tonight. So let's go ahead and make it official with Siena. Minus six, rotation number 752. We're taking the Siena Saints. Minus six over the Ryder Bronx in Metro Atlantic action. That's your play of the day in college basketball for Tuesday, January 17th. All right, that'll wrap it up. I'm Ian Cameron for Sportsbook Review. Until next time. Go to SBRodds.com. Browse, compare, and shop live odds available at top online sportsbooks.